gotten a few smiles out of her. Is that a little one? So, we decided to put her in a swing. You love it, don't you? Are you smiling? <laughs> she looks so cute. Hi everyone. So you can probably hear behind me, I have the Roomba going. There's our Roomba going around. I don't have it on because the floor is dirty. I have it on because it really helps Layla Jane fall asleep. I hear a lot of people say vacuum cleaners, hair dryers, things like that really help babies fall asleep. And it's true, the Roomba is magical. It helps calm her when she's fussy. So I have this running a lot. We have the cleanest floors in the neighborhood. Zeke doesn't always like the Roomba. He always feels like he has to leave the room. You don't have to, honey. It's okay, you can go on your bed. But this little girl loves the Roomba. Don't ya? And tell everybody, I'm seven weeks old today. Yay! So Layla Jane is seven weeks old today. We made it through the six week, No, it's known as the six week growth spurt slash regression. When they turn six weeks old, they have a major growth spurt and they can be very fussy. Um, everything that you had kind of going, like a sleep schedule, an eating schedule, just goes out the window. And it was true, especially at night. She would be up pretty much every hour, maybe hour and a half, wanting to eat more. And she was extremely fussy, crying all the time, especially in the afternoon. For some reason, the afternoon was just the worst. But we made it, we made it through. I'd say there's about three days that were really rough. But she's doing great now. Have you calmed down now after that six week growth spurt? Well, as you can see, we are in a different change of clothes because um, right as I was filming that, she did a huge spit up all over me, all over her. Uh oh. And so we, had, so we had to go do a quick wardrobe change. But anyways, like I was saying, hey. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. She doesn't like me to stand still, so I'm gonna have to walk while I talk here. Um, but she is doing much better at night sleeping again after that six week growth spurt. However, she has started this new thing now where she does not like to be swaddled probably around like three in the morning. She's kind of over it and she doesn't want to be in the swaddle anymore. So here's an example of Layla Jane in her normal swaddle. So she was starting to try to bust out of it. Oh. This is what starts happening. Hands start coming out. Feet are kicking and then we start hearing these noises. Uh-oh. This is what happens. Here, let me help you because we're getting up. So this is what ends up waking her during the night is she starts busting out this and as soon as I take this up, her arms will go up. Or as soon as I take this off, her arms go up. Just stretch, oh, there. Oh, there we go. This is why we'll try the other swaddle maybe today. Somebody um, actually commented on one of our videos and mentioned using something called the up swaddle. And it's a swaddle where they can keep their hands up. Oh, you, oh sorry, I have to keep moving. Can't stand still. Um, so I might give that a whirl. I actually ordered it off Amazon. So I'm gonna go try to find that in for her next nap. I might try putting her in that and see if she likes it. I don't know, but I'm willing to give it anything a shot right now to see what will keep her sleeping through the night since obviously the regular swaddle just isn't working anymore. Is it boo boo? And also we need to work on getting her to take her naps, not in our arms still, because she's kind of regressed in that and she always wants to sleep in our arms. So we'll either try using the Maru some more or just sleep putting her in her bassinet that she uses at night. So today is just gonna be a day of trying new things. There could be a lot of tears but we're gonna give it a whirl. But fortunately, later on in this afternoon, I'm meeting up with my mom's group for um, a wine afternoon. We're gonna go wine tasting, so that'll be a nice little break from all of this. <laughs> well, since she's wide awake after her spit up, we thought we'd face up. She's, it's so fun, you know, seven weeks old now. The last time I think I videoed her playing with this match, she was only a couple weeks, and 
She really didn't get into it, but now she really looks and focuses on things. So cute. And apparently they're supposed to kind of start smiling around six weeks. And I've gotten a few smiles out of her. Is that a little one? Oh, she just kicked the camera. <laughs> Can you, oh, she did it again. She kicks her legs when she's excited too. It's really cute. Let's see if I can get her. Kick those legs, girl. <laughs> that was a little kick. We spent a lot of time playing on this activity mat. She loves it now. And I try to do tummy time with her on this, but she doesn't like that too much. Well, she got bored with the mat, so we decided to put her in a swing. Now this swing we used for Addie and Maya when they were little, and she's a little too young for it now, but if we wrap her in a towel, it keeps her in place. And she doesn't last too long in it, but at least it's something to do. I don't know about you other new moms, but when they're at this stage, they're so much fun, but also there's just not a lot to do with them. You know, you put them on their activity mat, you can swing them, but especially when they get really fussy when they're not being held, you have to kind of try to come up with whatever you can to keep them entertained. So. This is how I spend a lot of my day, is just trying to do things to keep her happy. If you all have any suggestions on other things I could be doing that might kind of keep her entertained on her own for a little bit, definitely leave those in the comments below. I always look at those comments. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, it's been about five minutes, and I can already see her frustrated look coming on. We done with that, honey? Okay. See, it's just going from one short activity to the next. We were outside and decided to pick a flower and put it behind her ear. <laughs> Look at that, you're a true little Cali girl. We also spend a lot of our day trying to get her to laugh and giggle. You gonna smile for me again? Oh, you gonna smile for me? Smile. This is so soothing to her, this little bunny. Just plays little songs for her. You love it, don't you? Are you smiling? <laughs> Layla Jane fell asleep and I didn't have time to put the swaddle on her before she fell asleep, so I just went ahead and laid her back in her bassinet. Let's see if she'll make it. See, this is normal. She moves so much and she likes to sleep with her arms open. This is why I think that up swaddle might work. Come on, girl, stay asleep. Oh, shoot, the eyes are coming open. Oh, that doesn't help. Oh, no! Zeke! I got her back to sleep. We have the Roomba going. So hopefully she stays down this time and Zeke doesn't bark. And it's 12.56. Let's see how long she lasts. Well, she made it four minutes. Is that a good four minute nap? So this time we're gonna try the Mama Root. to nap on your own. Well, that failed. <laughs> At least she's not crying. Maybe she'll just stay there for a little bit. Let me get ready. Well, it's almost time for me to head to my mom's group, so she's Brian's problem for the next hour and a half. I just had a great time with my mom's group. I was there for about an hour, and then Brian came and brought Layla Jane, so now we're just gonna hang out for a little bit here. This winery is gorgeous out kind of in Tribuco Canyon near in California in Orange County. It's so beautiful and this is Layla Jane's first time here so Brian and I are gonna sit down for a little bit then we're gonna walk around and we'll show you the property. It's absolutely gorgeous. Layla Jane's ready to party. Oh look at that smile. <laughs> So this is Cowboy Canyon Winery. Just has a few little seats, and these are all stables right here, so you can walk in and see the horses, which is so cute. And right in there is where you actually get the wine. So Brian's in there getting wine for us while Layla Jane and I wait out here. Just leaving Cowboy Canyon Winery, 
And you can see there's a lot of weddings that are taking place here. And you can tell because it's so beautiful out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And usually that is open right there. And there's a bunch of horses that you can walk in and see the horses. But it's closed today, unfortunately. So we are down in the canyon area. And it's actually Silverado Canyon. We had a great time, didn't we, hon? We did. <laughs> And Layla Jane has done great. She's done an awesome job. She woke up a few times, but she's been very sleepy today. So we are just kind of gonna walk around a little bit more and then head home. We are back home now, and I'm getting ready to feed Miss Layla Jane. She was so good, slept the entire time we were at that little vineyard, and now we're just, mwah. <laughs> now we're just at home and gonna enjoy our night and it was just so much fun being with that mom's group it's great to just be with other moms and to kind of talk about what's going on and with our babies and just hear that it's normal what we're going through is normal and our, our baby nothing's wrong with our baby um, so it's just a great experience I really really encourage anyone who's out there who's a new mom or is about to be a new mom find a mom's group in your area because it is so worth it this great group of girls and I just had a blast I loved it well good morning um, sorry I didn't sign off yesterday it was kind of just a busy crazy night but it's the next day and yesterday I never got the chance to try using that new up swaddle and so I really wanted to try to use it today and see if she prefers it and I have it laid out she's about ready to nap so I thought I would go ahead and put her in it and see how she does in it. Right here, this is the up swaddle, and this allows her to have her arms up. So we'll see if she likes it. She's a bit fussy right now, so shh. So her arms go up in it, which is cool. It's okay, love. It's okay. And then we just zip it up, and this goes over. It's okay. Oh. She looks so cute. Now the only problem I could potentially see is she does like to move her arms around a lot when she's sleeping without being swaddled. And she can move her arms a lot in this. And I'm afraid that might keep her up. So I don't know, but I'm willing to try it. Oh, that's so cute. Look at her little arms up. Aw, she looks so cute. <laughs> okay, it's 629. Let's see how long she lasts in this. Oh, I think she's smiling in her sleep. It's 6.55, so she made it 25 minutes in there. And you know, she's not grunting and groaning trying to get her arms out, so I think she likes this. She's just kind of sitting here with her eyes open, but not crying or anything. So I think this is good. Well, thank you so much for watching. We've had a great weekend, and we have a busy week coming up. We actually have to start getting packed up to go to Phoenix to visit my sister and my nieces. You're gonna be going on your first road trip soon. How exciting. Bye, everyone.